Good day to you viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Now, I was down at the dump yesterday, not throwing myself in as you may imagine I should do, uh, but I was actually taking some rubbish there. You know, lots of jazz and records, genets and paramounts and rubbish like that that we don't like here. So I took all those to the tip and I saw this scruffy box of records you see in front of you. I thought, oh god, another box of records viewers, we don't need any more records. I noticed they were 12 inch. I thought we certainly don't need any more hot part symphonies or anything like that. But these are rather more interesting. A Melba? Traviata? What's the next one? Um, Tetracini singing Voice Sapete? Um, what's the next one? Oh, yeah, Dame Clara Butt singing Three Fishers Went Sailing. She was Madame Clara Butt when that was made. What's this one? Tetracini again singing Caranome? So, jolly good stuff. What have we got here? Oh, another Melba, Le Temple de Lilas by Maurice Bouchot, sung by Melba, of course. That's why I said it. Um, what's the next one? Anything exciting? Oh, can't see over that thing. Giuseppe De Luca, Ode Verdani, mate. Oh, good, that's a good one. And what's the last one? Uh, Madame Kirby Lan Morkus of Tavoir. Right, yes, that's all. So, and this one, which is the one we're going to play for you now. Saved from Destruction. The Polonaise Mignon uh, by Ambrose Thomas, sung by Madame Tetrazzini. 053142. So, some poor old soul has pegged it and uh, his relatives have chucked what's left of his collection away. Yes, happens to us all viewers. Right, apart from Roger Thorne, of course where half his collection disappeared into other collectors, collections, and then the rest of it ended up at auction. Yes, I do know who they were. Right, here we go viewers, hope to enjoy this one. Uh, oh, and um, perhaps you'll recall it was used in the film Life and Death of Colonel Blimp. Not the actual record, but the tune. <laughs>
to say that uh, Louisa Tetrantini was a rather large lady and not exactly the first person one thinks of as Titania, Queen of the Fairies. But there we are, great big walnut crackers as they used to say on Stepped Out and Sun. Thank you viewers and goodbye. <laughs>